Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So, I'm having frame rate problems. If you look now on my minimap, at the top of it you can see the frame rates. So it's not too bad at the moment, 14 to 50 frames per second. Now one of the causes was the snow golems. When they're kicking in, they're using a lot of um, they're using a lot of frames. So what the idea is, I would like to move things away from this base. So in order to do that, I'd like to make a quantum ring from uh, applied energistics. So let, let's do that. Also, I need to make another waste stone. So we'll do those two together. In fact, I'll probably do the one, which one I'm going to do first. I'll probably do the waste stone first. So let's get on with that. Now, for a waste stone, we need, and let's just check what's being crafted at the moment some capacitors. I think that those I can cancel. And it's crafting a, an ME storage component. The reason for that is they should have been made, been made in here. Oh, it's been made in here. It seems to go wrong for some reason with the. Let's just double check that, see if it's still. If it come back again. No, it's making bronze, not copper, it's making copper. Okay, good. So, the first thing I'd like to do is um, I need to make some ender pearls. We've got eight, we need another eight, so I'll make 16. I have to wait for this to start. It looks like I'm not going to be able to do this because it's crafting other stuff. I'll tell you what we'll do. I also need another recipe. And what I want to do is to make a brick. So let's have a look, clay. I've got 123 blocks of clay, so I need a processing recipe and that's going to make a, oh, no, wrong. I'm going to take one of these block of clay and I'm going to make four ordinary clays. And that's the recipe that we need. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down this extractor here. And I don't know whether the end are going to be made yet. We'll just try it anyway. Now it's stuck stuck crafting stuff okay we'll let it craft its stuff and then we'll come back and fix that later on now i have going to put down a singularity for as well but first of all we'll put down this here and I've, i think i messed up the cables when i did this last because what i want to do is i want to put it here but there's no power coming into here so let's just put the power down the power should have been coming from underneath here like this because this is where I'd connected up the compressor but I can't with no power to the compressor that's not going to work very well so here I can put some down some cables like that and in fact you can hear the compressors compressing cables as uh, obviously it hasn't been working for a while <laughs> oops so we need to put this one down here so we can need one more cable for that like that so I'm going to put down the extractor and one of the recipes for the extractor is clay. So maybe you can look from here. Yes, we can. Good. So we can reverse snowballs. Actually, there aren't that many bricks. And you don't lose anything in this extractor. Extract rubber from it. What's this doing? An empty cell, compressed air cell. And here's the one we want. We want clay. We want to extract clay. So, yes, clay to clay. Okay, well, that's fair enough. So what we want to do on here is I would like to put on the back of it a import bus which will connect into there very nicely of course so I just need an import bus there we go and I've got plenty of uh, ME oh, I can't reach from here now. let's try actually I can do it from here can't I it doesn't matter which way around to put it like that that'll import anything in there and I'm not going to use it very often so I'm not going to bother speeding it up but I do need an ME interface Make a flat one like that. I will put the ME interface on the top of this like that. Just one cable down there. I could have, might, I could have saved a cable, of course, but they're not such a problem now. And I put those into there. So now we should be able to make clay bricks, as it were, bricks. I think they're called bricks. Let's clear that off. We've got six. 
And I think I set up last time the recipes to craft this, so we need another 58. So we've got everything we need. We've got clay, which is going to be converted to clay, which is then going to make brick, which is then going to make bricks. But, of course, I've got no CPUs available. Why not? What's going on here? So it's crafting gold. Then it's still crafting gold. I'm not sure what... Seems to be very busy crafting gold. Whatever reason, it needs lots of gold. Interesting. Till the gold goes away, I'm going to... I don't understand what he's trying to do here. Why it's needing so much gold. I think I must have used up quite a lot. Right, okay, now we can do it. Do we want to make bricks? Not 158, just 58. Good. So that's now starting to grab those bricks. We should get 64. And we also need, oops, I forgot to take it out of there, we need some glowstone. We need a stack of glowstone because we need to make some endstone. And all I'm going to do for that is to put that into here. Like that. And that'll make, where's it gone to? That'll make 64 glowstone. They'll come down the bottom here reasonably quickly. I've also done this as a little experiment. This, so this is making cobblestone and it's getting annihilated here so it's being pulled into the system. I could do this more efficiently in terms of space but for simplicity I just set it up like that. So that was basically eight blocks down there and then this is one block of lava. And that's making cobblestone. The other thing I did was to change this. So I'm using Mars cobblestone because I was using uh, snowballs before and the snow, the snow golems are busy making snow. Actually, that's what caused a lot of the lag. And here was the exploit. And I've actually thought I'd just show you the exploit again and how to really misuse it. So here's, for example, 64 blocks of energetic alloy. All I have to do is click it off and it just fills itself up. And what you can, basically all I've got here is an, imp, is an, an import, fluid import bus. And underneath I've got a fluid storage bus. That's all I've got. And, that, and it's basically that's what's actually causing it. Nice bug and a good exploit. And I don't mind using exploits for this particular bit because that recipe didn't work properly for the liquid energetic alloy. It was make, so when that gets fixed, hopefully we can carry on. Right, Ender Pulse was the next one. Yeah, I want to craft 16 of these. Now I should be able to do that. Yeah, I can, good. So that'll make some ender pearls for us. And the idea is to make a waystone. Because I would like to go from a tip. Another tip from Zero Life. He says there's two two moons around the Earth. Or, yes, in our thing. So we might as well go and have a look and see what's happened to the second, if there's a second moon. He says the second moon has got daylight all the time. So that makes a perfect place to go mining. So I, the reason I'm sitting down to make a waystone, of course, is so I can um, basically get back again to it. We won't do that today. We will set it up today. But f the other thing I wanted to do is to set up a singularity. In order to move all of this stuff around here, we can use a quantum ring. And here I've got some moon rock. Well, I'm not going to use that moon rock. So what I'm going to do is put down here a matter condenser and the recipes for matter condensers so look sorted first of all it's very straightforward one fluid dust four glass and four iron so what i'll do is put this down like that and i've got what i've got tons and tons of is moon rock so i'm going to just use moon rock as the item but i was thinking about using cobblestone but of course cobblestone you don't want to use cobblestone because we've got absolutely, we need lots of it to make bedrockium. So resonant cash, that's moon rocks, just take one of those. Yeah, that'll do fine. 
Well, here's our storage component here. So we'll put our 64k storage component. We've got these from the rewards, so that's not a big deal. So all I'm going to do now is to fill this in here with that and then put an acceleration card if I've got one. But I could do with some more. Let's go and make some more acceleration cards. I think we can craft those. So let's put Ender Pearl. Right, I've got 16 of those now. Acceleration cards. Let's craft 10 of those if we can. Good, we can. It doesn't take very long to craft these, as it happens. So it's just basically still crafting this M16K storage component. I want the 16K storage component because um, I want to set up all the small recipes. Right. Let's take those with us. So this will think this will actually fill up fairly quickly as it happens. This one, especially when we put all four of these into that, and then put the that's filled up now. So that'll be filling up. So here, on, is it it's here? It's going up very fast. Before the end of the episode, that should be full. Hopefully, it is anyway. So the next thing. So that's singularity. We need to make some TNT. And what the one I'll do, I'll do the mini TNT. So I need some Fluix dust. Oops, that's not spelled right. Dust. Let's craft some of this if I can. Yes, I can. Good. 100. We're going to craft 100 of those. I'm not sure why these are showing me up and stored damage. Because of durability. Okay, maybe. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to make some TN, some small TNT. So let's have a look. Uh, we need gunpowder and we need fluids dust. Gunpowder we've got plenty of. I actually need two, don't I? I'm not sure if it's shapeless crafting or not. Oh well, it probably is. It probably isn't shapeless crafting. How's that dust doing? So it's got to make these first. You see, I've got, I've got these. Um, I'll put the cap on there. So it's actually doing two at once, two jobs at once. I could actually stick another cap so it and do all three, three jobs at once. Right now, I've got some, so I can actually make the TNT now. That's all we need. Now we need a lever. Good. And then we'll need some obsidian, just as a base, basically. Put stuff down. I don't need what I've got, all of these things I've got with me. I'll put that capacitor back, that mint away. I don't really need those fluix dusts. So what do we need? Ender pearls. And we need an ender pearl dust, actually, or ender powder dust. That's no big deal in this pack, because we've got plenty of that. powder one of these and a pearl dust normally we'd have to build a grindstone and grind it up but we don't need to so that plus the singularity will make that bricks we've got our 64 bricks so now we should have a bit of look at our end stone i probably could automate this as well as it happens I haven't bothered yet because I've hardly ever used it to be honest. But every once in a while you need a bit of um, nether, uh, netherrack and a bit of red uh, end stone, so that's probably a good way to do it. So in here, let's put in here the bricks, the end stone, and the ender pearls, and make a waystone. And that's actually quite a lot of power, so we can wait for this. We won't wait for this to finish. In the meantime, what we'll do is we'll go and set up a little area for putting this into. And I'm going to put it away from the base. In fact, I think it's night time. I don't see very many mobs around. Anyway, we'll just put it down like... 
I think I'll just do one hole here. All right, good. And then we'll put the obsidian down. Now nah, we'll put the obsidian down like this. Just around the side of this. So we can put the singularity in the middle of it like that. And then we can put a lever onto here like this. Oops. And then we can put the mini TNT in the bottom of this. And that will do. That's very strange. I don't know where all the mob mobs are. Hmm. But while we're waiting for the singularity, because that's going to take the longest time, I think, we'll have a quick sleep and make it day. Oops, took on something. Also, we'll take out these. We'll take out one rocket take a landing pad and a tank of fuel and we shall put the we'll put the um we'll fuel up a rocket but we won't finish the fueling of the rocket because if you put a rocket down quite often it just disappears it despawns and don't ask me why it's the weirdest thing of all and you've got a rocket and a landing pad it simply despawns so what what i do want is to have an empty tank of fuel an empty fuel tank so we'll need that like that Right, now of course it's daytime and the sp and sp <laughs> mobs have spawned, that's weird, very weird. Never mind, we'll deal with those as time goes on. So, next thing. I would like to go and see if that singularity is ready. No, we've got quite a long time to wait before that's going to be ready. By the looks of it. So what we'll do is we'll just change the oxygen tank. I'll also put this these uh, energetic alloy blocks away. I think that's all we need to put away got the waste stone here, the warp stone. Let's get the oxygen tank out of here. And we shall go and see if we can find that second moon. So I think that's all we need. Oh no, I do need something else. I'll go and get the return stone and I'll go and get the ender chest. Because in here I've got an a spare ender chest which is linked to this ender chest. So everything in this end you see in this ender chest is in the other one, so that's no big so that's quite useful. So we've got a spare oxygen and whatever else, and we've got some return scrolls here, and they're returning to moon base. So let's go on, carry on with this. Have a look. Press F. Fuel's already 100%. Is there anything else I need? Don't think so. Let's go. Twenty seconds for it taking off. Quick look around the moon base as we're going around. There we go now. Up we go.
Well, that was brilliant. I didn't bring the warp stone with me. Never mind. So, he says that on the overworld, there are two... If we click here, we should see two moons. Oh, indeed, we have two. Now, which is the one that we live on? Is it the outer one? What's it called? Moon... Ah, Moon and Moon of Mining. So that's the one. And this one is... Oh, I don't know. Oh, I see. We've got Moon of Mining here. And this is the Moon. Oh, okay, so it's the inside one. So let's go there. Launch. So we have to press space to slow down. What height are we? we actually need to go. To can go down quite quickly till we get to a reasonable Y level, like about 200 or something like that. And then press space. And here we are. Let's get out of this. So it is daytime. Right, we're underneath it. <laughs> right, we need to right click this. We'll put the empty fuel tank in here to take out the fuel. We'll take the rocket and we'll take the landing pad, launch pad, and we'll just break it up. So here we are. Now I believe this is always day, therefore there are no mobs. So there we have it. Let's just put in a, well, I don't know, let's go back home. Fortunately I brought the return scroll with me. And I actually brought the, the, the end of the chest here. If I put the end of the chest down, what we could do is you could leave the end of the chest here. Ah, oh, I've got the wrong end of the chest. <laughs> That's very clever. We'll leave it there anyway. We shall leave it here. But good thing I... Actually, I don't need to use that. I can use the, the warp scroll here. And go back to moon base. So there we have a second ma moon base for mining only. For, as it happens, I probably don't need it because I've got so much moon rock at the moment. That's actually going down slowly. It's going down because of the, the, the singularity. Let's go and have a look at that, see if that's doing. Oh, a great big hole here. Things haven't loaded up properly. So it's getting on. It's not finished yet, but it won't be too long. Which is great. Lots of lots of unloaded chunks here. Look at that. I think let's show the lasers on this. This should really be loaded up. Because this is actually it's got enough blocks to load things up. So anyway, what we could do of course is then to build another quarry. But if I do that, I'll do that off camera to do mooning that mining then we don't need to worry about it on on the moon itself to make big holes or whatever um i really just want the singularity now don't i let's go and get that waste stone ah of course it's being brought into the system there it is but let's put this in here, let's make another uh, ender chest as well. I should be able to craft one of these. How are we doing for crafting? What's going on? Crafting that one. That's still crafting this MK 16K storage. That means it's not ticked, I think, is the thing. Yes, look, it's not actually activated here. That was just doing something else. What was that doing? Okay, let's activate it. 
So you've got 64k, I've got all 4k, and I've got 16k. Um, and the idea was to put them all of those. I moved things around a bit, so they're all in this in this one here, which is great as it happens, because they all get made and get put in the same one. Uh, and the chest probably made now. Yep, we got our ender chest. We'll go and put that upstairs into the other place, and we'll put the we'll put the rocket. We do need the rocket again, of course, to to fill it. Let's go out through here like that. Frame rate is just awful at the moment. It's not too bad, but it's not also much better than it was last episode, where it was down to about twelve. But I'm not putting the rocket on because that despawns. I think I may have told you that. So what we could, of course, do is fill up some of these fuel canisters we've got. Where is it now? Did that actually get filled? I, okay. You actually have a complete tank of fuel when you've actually come back again. And very interesting. Didn't realise it did that. So I don't need that. I'll put this in the in the end the tank end the chest upstairs, and that's just one with a red bit. I probably should make a second one of these. Let's put that down there like that. <laughs> I've done that once or twice as well, pressing shift on it like that, and then if I basically put, I haven't got any red dye. I put a red down there, then it'll be the same. Let's do that anyway. We have no shortage of rose red. And then we have one that we can take with us. Uh, I don't have to Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else. Right, so we've got two, so, and then we actually just need one. We've got one for the over there for that quarry. What else would we want? I could probably break the quarry we've got at the back here as well. Maybe that's the most insensible thing because it's it's a very large quarry, and it's uh, well, as you can see, it's mining quite nicely down. I'm just wondering about it because I wanted to use this for something else, but I don't really mind to be honest with you. We could just simply break it up and go build one of them. I'll probably do that off camera anyway. Because that will also help with the frame rate of course because it's not doing any activities and it's since it's day all the time it's also never going to stop mining. So that's a, a, a very good tip. Thank you again Zero Life. Now next one. Let's go over here. I reckon that singularity is finished now. Indeed it has. It's actually starting to fill this up again with moon rock. We don't want that to do that, really. So I can take it out. So the next thing we're going to do is we make these two um, quantum singularities, whatever they're called, quantum entropy singularities. Now the fun thing here, well, let's go with this out of the way. So we just need these two like that. The fun thing when I did this last, or just testing it out, they kept jumping out of here. And they might do this time as well, and don't ask me why. We'll get up here and we'll turn off my magnet. Like that. It's a shift right click, by the way. So we can push these into here like that. And you see it floats up. So that's not going to work. So what I decided I'd have to do is I had to put down some more obsidian. So let's just turn my magnet back on again. And of course I put my obsidian away. Turn it off. Let's go and get some obsidian out of the system.
at the end of the last episode we started to make stuff for Rocket Tier 3 and I haven't done any more on that in this episode. We'll do that next episode. So what I'm basically going to do is put some down some obsidian around here like this. Just to encase it a bit. So if I then throw the turn the yeah, arc's turned off, that's good. Let's just throw that into there like that. I think that'll work. And then we'll take the singularity here and throw that into there. Q. Come down. So they should be around about that. This is settling down. Let's just turn it on. Bang. And there we go. So now we have our I'll turn that back on again. Fix up those and cut up. We get our two singularities here, quantum entangled singularity. So that's the basic, the core of the, of the, um, what I'm thinking of, of the quantum ring, which we shall do next episode. So, I probably won't have as many episodes next week. I've been doing five a day, but because people, we've had school holidays and people have been sick, I haven't been able to do so much recording. So. Until next time, where we shall carry on and do this quantum ring and see if we can get things out of the base, I'll say bye for now.